प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक यू ओके सो व्हाट डज मीन बाय द केबीएमआर वर्चुअलाइजेशन ऑफ इन आरएचसीएल 7 सो इन विंडोज इफ यू वांट टू वर्चुअलाइज यू कैन यूज हाइपर वी ओके इट्स विंडोज हाइपर वर्ल्ड हाइपर वर्ल्ड hypervisor okay in linux it is kvm so if it is, if you want to use on uh, vmware so okay so vmware is uh, like uh, vmware workstation okay and uh, esx esxi okay like this we have the virtualization environments okay virtualization environments like In Linux, we have KVM, and we also have the RHC EV Enterprise uh, Red Hat Enterprise virtualization. Okay, so we are not talking about this one, or we are not talking about any of this. We are talking about the KVM. So, what is this KVM? Is that like kernel-based virtual machine, kernel-based virtualization? So, what it will do here? It is that. whatever the drivers kernel modules you load it will directly load into the kernel kernel and whenever your host is started and host is working then the kvm will be started and you can host n number of virtual machines on the one single machine so likewise we are using workstation here okay vmware workstation so in vmware workstation what we are doing so we are installing multiple vms so we, we are hosting multiple vms and we are working on our machines like that what you can do is here in linux machine so you can simply uh, install this kvm so virtualization so what we call it as uh, virt manager okay and the service is cumulator virtualization emulator is kimo okay so this we are going to install on the linux operating system and top of the linux operating system we are going to create few more virtual machines and we will work on we will work with that machines okay if you types of virtualizations okay so one is server virtualization okay like one is server virtualization second one is desktop virtualization okay desktop virtualization so which we are looking at the kvm is desktop virtualization not server virtualization okay the so server virtualization is that rhcv virtualization right enterprise virtualization this is for desktop virtualization so just like what is the difference between the server virtualization and desktop virtualization is that so that is desktop virtualization what it will do is that we will will take one server this server we will install with the operating system top of the operating system we will install the one hypervisor hypervisor software which is kvm okay top of this we create the virtual machines so here we are installing rhcl operating system rhcl 7 os top of this we are installing the hypervisor top of this we are creating the virtual machines this is called as a desktop type virtualization the server type virtualization so here what happens here is that if the operating system is gone or if something is gone here the hardware failures so what what we can do so whatever the hosted virtual machines will be go off okay but if you do a virtualization on the server type so what we'll do here is that we'll directly install hypervisor here top of the hardware no operating system this is the direct hypervisor we install and we'll create the virtual machines so here we are installing the operating system top of that we are installing hypervisor and top of that we are going to create the virtual machines but on the server type of operating system what we can do we are just taking the hardware this hardware we are going to convert as a software like software hardware like uh, 
everything is a software okay if you want to allocate ram is like software if you want to allocate like processor is like software if you want to allocate these edge disk space is like software okay in the sense so whatever you are allocating here so which is has been converted the actual hardware has been converted as a hypervisor here so this hypervisor layer here will take every hardware control and allocate to the VMs okay but it here we are not going to only depends on one hardware so what we can do here it is that here on the hypervisor you can add multiple host as a cluster okay and you can also add the storage like suppose say here i have the sand environment and the sand will be connected like to the switch okay switch here from switch to you can connect it to the, this host and you can allocate the storage space and the storage space will be allocated to the vms so we will use this storage as a data stores and we can store the virtual machines on that data stores so whenever this host gone this host gone or this host gone but still our virtual machines are safe because we are storing the indirectly the data to the storage what we can do here is that we can just simply replace the uh, host and the same you can present the data source here and bring up the vms okay like that in case of sand failures what we can do here it is that we can add the multiple sands and the cluster and you can connect it here so one sand fails again it will move the data to here okay if one host fails it it will move here like like that we can have the multiple redundancies on the cluster so it's any point of time you cannot even think about the failures on the server side but here if operating system fails or operating system something happens to the here but we can get some failures okay here also you can do cluster but which fully not support a desktop virtualization on the cluster environment okay here it will support cluster environment and you can build a multiple simultaneously you can add multiple host to the environment and you can scale up the server virtualization okay like that we can do it so but we are going to see about the kernel kvm virtualization so what we have to do is that we have to install a little bit packages so before that what you have to do that you have to verify whether your hardware is support for the uh, that uh, type of uh, vmx like the type of storage processes the, the process is support for your um, uh, virtualization or not because i am just running on here it does not show anything output here because i am already virtualized in environment again i would like to virtualize this one so maybe it may not going to work in a proper manner okay so virtualization kvm you can enable from the whenever you are installing the operating system like you can also install the virtualization host packages so it will install hypervisor or you can also install the packages after the this one so okay so let's see that our m is already configured Okay, so HTTP RPMs. I think we have. So now M install. We have to install the emulator packages. Kimo KVM and the image converter is Kimo image and libvit is the uh, service name okay and wit install is the virtualization manager libvit 
and python is the supporting package for the dependency for the lib width and width manager we have to install for uh, looking up the virtualization manager okay and uh, lib width client we have to install for the managing the width view okay width viewer is the package okay so these are the packages we have to install for bringing up our kvm machines okay yes enter so what it will do is that it will install that virtualization manager and width manager with viewer okay its dependency packages so it will bring up the okay in the service so now what we have to do that we have to verify the ls mode the kernel mode the kernel packages is already installed to the kernel or not so it's not it installed so we have to do mod probe kvm now try to verify that the kvm has been installed or not okay the kernel has been installed and start the service name is systemctl enabled lib wet iphone guest service okay systemctl enable okay lib wet d lib wet d is the package okay systemctl start lib wet d okay systemctl start lib wet guest service okay these are the packages we have to start it and now it's very simple that on the graphical mode so it should have the graphical interface or else it does not work your virtualization manager so what you have to do go to applications and there is a utilities system tools in this there is a virtualization manager will be there so this is the virtualization manager where you can bring up your virtual machines or you can also start from the command line is that with iphone manager is the command which will bring up your virtualization manager okay this is your virtualization manager so here what you can do here is that create virtual machine say from local install cv media or whatever it is so you should have the virtual that is4 file like this you can install any operating system on this virtual machine now you can manage this from here see your vm is running from here so you can open it you can switch off switch on okay whatever you can do it like this you can install the operating system top of this and you can manage that here so it just like a small operating system this one so which is loading here okay setting up console screen this is the network switch actually the operating system is network switch okay See. it's simple so like this you can load your virtual machine so this virtual machine you can manage using the web manager so like this so they will what they will in the examination what they will do here is that they will give the window like this and they will show you a two or three virtual machines or two virtual machines okay rca you may have three but rca say you, you may have two okay so you have to start that virtual machine so it will open the window like this in this you have to work for the configuring whatever the uh, they will give if so you have to reset the password and you have to try and all the stuff you have to do on this virtual machine it's very simple not very complicated you have to in but you have to verify before that you have to install the packages but you should have the gui interface ready 
then only the virtual manager will work okay like this it's very simple to create and it's very simple to manage you can ask like this simple okay so it is ready for the use like this you can run any but any vm here and you can install it you can also create the virtual machine you can also create the virtual machine from um, command line which is called with install the command is iphone iphone name equal to so what are the name you would like to call the vm name maybe like uh, rhcl7 something like this iphone iphone ram so the ram space you have to give maybe in mb 1024 is equal to 1 gb iphone iphone virtual cpus okay how many cps would like to give one iphone iphone cd rom cd rom in the sense where your iso image is located okay slash root so my iso image located on the root with some name right B upon terminal plus. So this is my ISO file name and iPhone iPhone OS type. So if it is something like Linux operating system, you can say Linux. So if you have any OS variant RSL7 or RSL6, you can type it. So what is the network you would like to use? Okay network bridge is br0 okay iphone iphone graphics you have any graphics is spice okay iphone iphone disk path so where is your disk path located in the sense to host your virtual machine which is by default in the library file libvit and images is the location and you can type uh, whatever the disk name we use one dot dsk and what is the size of the disk so which may be in uh, 10 gb or 20 gb something like this hit enter so it will open a one more virtual vm and it will run there okay because which does not have a bridge network already that's why it is showing so we don't want to give any bridge network here just enter what is saying here oh network not found so oh, what is this bridge network i used here can simply view manager this is the details okay you can click here for the all the details network details and all the stuff okay and you can click on the options boot options processing configuration performance all the stuff you can see from here so what is the source mode is bridge and the uh, is i have used is en6 something like this this one okay you can also use the vm network case ens whatever the network i have that i have to use here that's it so simple you have to this is the command Yes, pink you on this chart. Okay, you can save. That's it, nothing much about Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.